Last year, Xiaomi launched the smallest 65 watt scan charger, which totally changed the industry. After a year, Xiaomi has launched a new generation of 65 watt scan charger, adopts USB A and USB C foldable pin design. We have got this charger, so let's unbox it right now. The packaging is still the familiar Xiaomi style, and this is the information behind the box. This model is 8652G. Maximum output of USB A is 18 watts. Maximum output of USB C is 65 watts. Maximum output for dual ports will be 18 watts plus 45 watts. Open the box, there are charger, cable, and manual. The length of the cable is about 1.5 meters. Support 5A high current and 100 watts fast charging. Now look at the charger. Looks like a white lipstick. The front is USB-C and USB-A output. The back is the foldable pin. Let's look at the specification at the bottom. It's almost the same as the back of the box we saw. Let's measure the size and weight. The size is 71mm, 31mm and 31mm. The weight is 104 grams. Compared with previous generation, the thickness of those two is the same, but the new model is a little bit longer. The foldable pins and USB-A port will take up more space, obviously. Take out the Apple 61W charger for comparison. And then use Charger Lab PowerZ KT002 to test the protocol. USB-A supports Apple 2.4A, QC2 and QC3 fast charging protocols. USB-C supports additional AFC protocol. The PDL message shows USB-C supports 5 volts, 9 volts, 12 volts, 15 volts, 20 volts. 5 fixed voltage gears and 5 to 11 volts 5 amp 5 to 20 volts 3.25 amp two sets of pps voltage gears this charger uses mainstream gain fast charging high frequency qr power architecture which can effectively reduce the size of the transformer to provide the multi-port output how does the inside look like let's go tear it down mr hammer took today off we got a pen instead. Okay, we have opened the charger. Take out the PCB module. It is covered with a layer of copper heat sink. The input end is covered with a plastic cover. The contact adopts ENIG design. There were also heat sinks and isolation plates on the back of the motherboard. The low voltage side is also wrapped with a layer of insulating tape to insulate. Remove the outer heat sink, isolation plate and thermal pad. The input terminal inside is also covered with a plastic case. The big one in the middle is an electrolytic capacitor for high voltage filter. There is also a layer of insulating tape on the outside and an insulating rubber sleeve on the top, which is used for insulating the secondary output board. A lot of glue is filled around the components for reinforcement and heat dissipation. Remove the plastic cover. There are also two small boards welded vertically at the input end. The AC input filter and rectifier circuit are on the small board. Xiaomi welded components through multiple small boards to increase the space utilization of the charger and achieve the high density design. The motherboard is hollowed out at the position of transformer, which can also increase space utilization. On this side, you can see the master control chip of switching power supply, optocoupler, Y capacitor, GAN power chip, and synchronous back boost converters for USB-A output. Remove two small boards. One of them has fuse, safety X capacitor, and common mode choke. The circular space on the small board is the position of differential mode filter inductor on the small board. The back of the small board is printed designed by CookTac. 
to rectify bridges on the other small board used to spread heat. The big and small electrolytic capacitors of high voltage filter from Anshi. The 100 microfarad capacitor is used for rectification and filtering. 80 microfarad capacitor is used to reduce current ripple. Master control chip of switching power supply adopts ON Semiconductor NCP1342. This is a high frequency QR quasi resonant flyback primary PWM controller driving Navitus GAM power chip. Turn on at the bottom of electrical resonance to achieve quasi resonant flyback and reduce switching losses. And this controller also supports overheating protection. There is a thermistor under it, can detect the temperature rise of the charger, and then send it to the master control chip. Turn off the signal output when overheating, avoiding high temperature damage. The primary switch tube adopts Navitas MV6115 GAN power chip, whose withstand voltage is 650 volts. Navitas integrates the driver, GAN switch tube, and circuit into one chip. This charger uses a planar transformer. Heat sinks wrapped with a tape are pasted on both ends of the small board to help dissipate heat. There are two solid output capacitors in the middle of two USB receptacle ports fixed by glue. An aluminum heat sink wrapped by insulating tape is next to the USB-C port. Xiaomi adopted this method to replace the thermal pad. The cost is higher but the effect is better. Remove the small plate of the planar transformer. You can see the synchronous rectifier controller and the rectifier tube. There is also a VBUS switch tube. A layer of insulating tape is stuck on the other side of the planar transformer. There is a particle chip at the output. We can see the synchronous rectification circuit and particle chip are all on the circuit board of the planar transformer. This design can shorten the cable length, reduce interface and improve space utilization. Xiaomi 65W scan charger reduced the size of the transformer by improving switch frequency and used the circuit board of the planar transformer to weld the synchronous rectifier and Type-C output circuit. And there is a blue thermal pad between the magnetic core and the transformer circuit board. It can conduct the coil's heat to the core to enhance heat dissipation and increase the power density of the transformer. Break it down. It seems like a coil design. The secondary synchronous rectifier controller adopts MPS MP6908A, which supports the 600 kHz switching frequency. This is Toshiba synchronous rectifier TPH4R50ANH. USB PD fast charge particle chip adopts powerful Cypress CYPD3174, which supports PD3, PPS, and has a built in ARM microprocessor. The output VBUS switch tube adopts Toshiba TPCC8104. USB C receptacle port is sport welded in the hollow of PCB. Let's take a look at the small board of USB A port. USB-A port is pasted with high temperature tape. There is an output VBUS switch tube next to it. A customized chip and step-down inductor are on the back. Clean up the motherboard and remove all components. A small black rubber pad in the middle of the front supports electrolytic capacitors for high voltage filter. Two white capacitors are connected in series. USB-A port output is filtered by Kemet tantalum capacitors, which is very expensive. SMD package can reduce height and space occupation. Synchronous bug boost converter of USB-A port adopts South Chip SC8721. It integrates four switch tubes for bug boost voltage conversion. Converted 5 to 20 volts of USB-C port into 5 to 12 volts voltage. Cypress CYPD3174 also controls the portal of the USB-A port. Communicate with SC8721 through the iPhone C interface to adjust output voltage. 
Okay, that's all for today's teardown. Xiaomi Scan Charger continues the high power density design and adopts multiple small plates to increase space utilization. If you have some old devices that need to be charged and don't want to sacrifice the size and power, this charge will be a good choice. You can leave any comments to talk about your opinion. Don't forget to drop a like if you like this video and subscribe to us. Our website is chargerlab.com. See you. Bye.